Let's see what else is in the box here. This is the uh, dock which I showed you before. Now this might be a problem for me and a lot of people is I guarantee you I'm not going to have this around when I need it. It would be really nice to just be able to plug into a USB port somehow. Uh, you'll see on the Nike Fuel Band as an example, uh, it's got a USB port or USB uh, plug built into it. So you just plug this into your laptop or into your cell phone's charger and it charges up. You don't need any accessories. Uh, this here is going to be a major, major issue for a lot of people. You're going to lose this. You're going to need to order another one. But let's see how this fits right here. Sort of snaps on. But again, this is something that I guarantee you I'm going to lose at some point. Other than that, inside the box we have a health and safety warranty guide. And that is literally it. Not a whole lot to it. So all that's in there is the charger and the gear fit itself. Let's see if this is even powered on. There we go. Now you'll notice that we do not see any branding regarding Galaxy. That's because it is not a Android powered device like we're used to seeing from Samsung. And so it's saying to connect your gear. First download gear fit manager via gear fit. So I'll go ahead and set this up shortly, but this is just a quick look. Feels pretty solid in terms of the watch face. Not crazy about the band, and we'll see if this is worth buying after I get a chance to uh, try this out for a little while. It does measure a few different activities, including uh, cycling and running and uh, hiking, but I've always been disappointed with all of, the, all of these sorts of bands in one way or another. I'm going to see if this can be the new band that I wear on a daily basis to track my workouts and overall fitness. This is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile and this is the Samsung Gear Fit.